Number nine, Norman Kenny. Norman Kenny, an 88-year-old resident of Bath, was standing outside his house when he saw a grey fox running towards him. The fox tried to attack him, but Kenny stomped it to death. As a retired police chief, he had experience dealing with stressful situations. Four months later, he returned home from the store when he heard what he thought was his cat meowing. However, it turned out to be another fox. The wild animal bit Kenny on his face and hands after knocking him onto the driveway. The older man strangled his attacker with his bare hands after wrestling with it for over 12 minutes. Kenny was taken to the hospital where he received a rabies shot. The 88-year-old man sustained a severe wound to his thumb as well as a ripped eyelid. Today's featured fan shoutout is Instagram follower at Poobeer. To appear in our next video, send us your pic rocking the latest merch from theywillkillyou.com and send it in to us on Instagram today. Number 8. Andrew Thomas Andrew Thomas was camping in East Sussex after a long day of fishing. At one point, he fell asleep and didn't notice a fox sneaking into his tent. He woke up as the wild animal sunk its teeth into his face. Thomas attempted to break free, but the fox kept on biting him. Even though he was surprised and in pain, the man reacted quickly, squeezing the fox's snout to keep it from breathing. It was only then that the attack ended. The animal ran away immediately and Thomas rushed himself to the hospital. Once there, he needed to get 26 stitches on his cheek. The doctors told him he'd been lucky. If Thomas had been bitten only slightly to the right or the left, he could have lost an eye. Foxes are small mammals that'll eat everything, from tiny animals to fruits and vegetables. There are 12 recognized species, all of which are included in the genus Volps. Its name comes from the Proto-Indo-European word puck, which can be translated as thick-haired. Female foxes are usually referred to as vixens, and the group is called a skulk or leash. This animal can whine, yelp, growl, and bark, much like a dog and they also have both combative and explosive calls. This last one is meant to threaten strangers. These creatures come in different sizes, from the largest species being the red fox to the smallest known as fennec fox. The first can weigh on average up to 19 pounds, while the second is usually as light as 3 pounds. To put things into perspective, that's just as heavy as a human brain. Number 7. Isabella and Lola Cuparis Twin nine-month-old babies Isabella and Lola Cuparis were sleeping in their crib in Hackney, a London borough. Pauline Cuparis, their mother, heard the infants crying and went upstairs to check on them. Mrs. Cuparis was shocked to see the girls bleeding profusely and the fox still lurking in the nursery room. The twin sister's parents struggled to scare off the wild animal and eventually it ran out the back door into the garden. The children were taken to the London Children's Hospital. Isabella had several bites on her left arm and was the most severely injured. Lola sported a minor bite on her right arm but a larger gash above her right eye. Fortunately, both girls made a full recovery. Number 6. Seb Baker 29-year-old Seb Baker from Orpington, England was walking back home from the store when he noticed a grey-coloured fox standing on the side of the street. Baker expected the wild animal to run off, but instead, it started to follow him. Surprised, Baker tried running away, at which point the fox jumped towards him. The wild animal wasn't aiming for him, however, as it went straight for his shopping bag. When trying to scare the fox away didn't work, the man decided to change his approach. Baker threw a stick of garlic bread and saw the fox running after it before leaving the area. Baker told the press he'd encountered another fox before reaching his home, but fortunately, this one left without trying to mug any extra food from him. Foxes can be found on all continents with the exception of Antarctica. The most common species is the red fox. Unlike wolves and dogs, it owns retractable claws. This animal usually lives up to three years, though there have been specimens known to reach a 10-year lifespan. The fox generally tends to gather in small groups. It feeds mostly off bugs, birds, and reptiles, as well as eggs and vegetation. To hunt, it crouches, using its surroundings as camouflage. 
before leaping onto its prey. It then proceeds to sink its pronounced canine teeth into its victim's neck. One species, the grey fox, regularly climbs trees, likely using them as a vantage point for scoping fresh meals. Number 5. Heidi Cooper Four-year-old Heidi Cooper was fast asleep at her family's home in southeast London. Her parents were downstairs watching a movie when a fox stealthily slipped into the house. George Cooper, her father, heard the girl shrieking for help and rushed upstairs. After the fox had jumped into her bed, the child was bitten on her arm and hand, as well as badly scratched. Cooper removed Heidi from her room and then ran the fox out of the house, while his wife attended to the little girl's wounds. The family was grateful none of the bites were severe. They realized the wild animal had slipped into the house after they'd left the back door open in an effort to cope with a recent heat wave. Number 4. Jody Naylard Jody Naylard was sleeping in the southwest London house she shared with her boyfriend when she felt a sharp pain that immediately woke her up. A fox had slipped in through the open patio doors and snuck into her bedroom. Naylard described experiencing a throbbing pain on her left bicep and becoming confused by the amount of blood she saw pouring out. When she sat up, Naylard accidentally kicked the fox off and it immediately ran out. Her boyfriend rushed her to King's College Hospital, where she received vaccines against rabies, tetanus and polio. She also had to endure six stitches and spent two days under observation. Fortunately, the woman made a full recovery. The fox is regarded as a pest or an annoying presence in most cases. It's known to be dangerous towards poultry and small farm animals. It's not usually considered a threat when it comes to human beings. However, the fox can cause harm to an unsuspecting person, especially young children and the elderly. In the UK, an increasing number of attacks have been reported. This might be due to this species growing accustomed to cities and towns that overlap with its natural habitat. Foxes have also become more daring when it comes to venturing into urban areas in search of nourishment. Cornering a fox is a bad idea, as it becomes highly aggressive when feeling threatened. Its teeth are sharp and long, and it can attack so suddenly that most human beings won't be able to dodge its bite. Number 3. Eliza Watson While gardening out in her yard, Eliza Watson saw a scraggly fox walking out of the woods. She immediately walked towards it instead of trying to get away. This was because her five-year-old child was playing in the garden and she was concerned the fox would attack him. Within moments, the fox lunged at Watson herself. She struggled to escape the wild animal for 45 minutes before she ultimately managed to shove it into a turkey cage. Once the fox was contained, she called her husband, who was at work that morning. Immediately after, Watson called emergency services. An ambulance and game wardens arrived to take her to the hospital and catch the violent fox. Watson tested positive for rabies and had to receive stitches on her hands, as well as the appropriate treatment for the dangerous disease. Today's topic was requested by Instagram follower at TJ Westall is the boss. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Or follow us on Instagram and reach out to us there. Number 2. Rhea Boundy Rhea Boundy was just seven months old when a fox crept into her family's home in Plymouth, Devon. She'd just been placed by her grandfather in her bouncer. When the older man wasn't looking, the wild animal pounced on Boundy. This fox had been seen the previous day by neighbors who reported the incident to the RSPCA. When the baby cried out, her grandfather and a friend rushed into the house, scaring the fox away. An ambulance was called and Boundy was treated at the scene before being taken to the hospital. The baby got a tetanus shot as well as antibiotics treatment, but suffered no severe injuries. Attacks can generally be avoided by not making the fox feel threatened and thus triggering a defensive response. Foxes are curious animals, but they tend not to attack larger animals, including human beings. If the fox doesn't escape upon noticing a person walking close by, making a loud noise is a good way of scaring it off. Clapping your hands waving your arms or stomping your feet should do the trick. That being said, approaching the fox is not recommended. 
it's better to keep a safe distance and not corner or chase the fox. Running away immediately is not recommended either. Since the fox is an opportunistic hunter, it might take the opportunity to bite the person's legs or ankles before escaping. If bitten by a fox, it's vital to disinfect the wound and visit the hospital as soon as possible. The doctors will most likely recommend an anti-rabies vaccine. It's vital to undergo treatment since rabies, once it takes hold, is almost always deadly. Number 1. Avril Clark A 71-year-old Richmond resident woke up in the middle of the night, experiencing a sharp pain in her arm when Avril Clark turned on the lights. She saw that her attacker was mangy looking that kept biting her viciously. Apparently, the wild animal had slipped into her home through a cat flap. Clark didn't let the wild beast get the best of her and she shooed it outside before heading for the hospital. She described the fox as being reluctant to leave her home and that it wasn't truly scared of human beings. She received treatment and was released soon after but subsequently claimed to have trouble sleeping. Clark was worried she'd get attacked once more or that one of her grandchildren would be bitten when they visited her. Thanks for watching. Would you rather be bitten by a fox or skydive without a backup parachute? Let us know in the comments section below.